Yesterday was another big midterm primary day in seven states, with the biggest results happening right here in New York. A Democratic primary surprise shakes up the 2018 midterm elections. 28-year-old newcomer Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez shocked the Democratic establishment by defeating 10-term incumbent New York Congressman Joe Crowley. She's right here. I can't let you know. She's looking at herself on television right now. Yo, I get it, man. Look at that face. Look at that reaction. It's exciting. And, and I know it's been a tough year for everyone, so in case you forgot, that face means happy. That's what that is, yeah. <laughs> and now, some people might wonder, why does anybody care about a congressional primary race in Queens? Well, first, look at who she beats. Congressman Joseph Crowley, right? He's a top-ranking House Democrat who was expected to one day take over for Nancy Pelosi. In fact, the Democrats saw him as a young leader of the next generation, because he's only 56, right? <laughs> you think this is a joke, but it's true. <laughs> the rest of the House leadership are all at least 77 years old. Yeah, yeah. When you ask these people if they've seen Hamilton, they're like, yeah, we used to hang out all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. And you, you gotta understand, powerful incumbents like this almost never lose primaries. But it gets even more surprising when you learn more about the person who beat him, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Nobody would think that a real BX Puerto Rican girl would be able to run for Congress in New York City. 28 years old, running her first campaign. She's a member of the Democratic Socialists of America. Until last November, she was working as a bartender. I speak like a girl from the block because I learned how to speak Spanish on the street. Yo, this is so amazing, man. Not only would she be the youngest female ever elected to Congress, She'd also be the first member of Congress that talks like Cardi B. Like, this is so dope. <laughs> she's just, like, out there. I love it. And I love that she's proud as well. She'd just be like, that's right, we're looking for health care, okay? <laughs> like, can you imagine her up on Capitol Hill talking to Mitch McConnell, be like, I, I don't think that that's appropriate. She'd be like, don't tell me what you think is appropriate. <laughs> I'm not voting for you or your bullshit. <laughs> So, not only would uh, Ocasio Cortez be a groundbreaker, but she ran on a heavily progressive platform that was really popular. Free health care, free college education, a federal jobs guarantee, and she wants to abolish ICE. Like, she's so left, she's so left <laughs> that she makes Bernie Sanders look like Mitt Romney. Like, it's insane. <laughs> and, that's, and that's part of why her victory was such a shock. Right? She's far left, she had no support from the Democratic Party, and unlike her opponent, she had no big money behind her. Nobody expected her to win, especially not Crowley, because he clearly didn't even have a concession speech planned. I respect the outcome of this, uh, this election. Crowley dedicating the Bruce Springsteen hit Born to Run to his opponent. <laughs> Yo, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> no, because you realize he was so confident he would win that he even planned to perform his own Bruce Springsteen concert. <laughs> then afterwards, he had to pretend that the song was for his <laughs> opponent. He was like, yeah, I, I dedicate this song to her. Okay, my next song also goes out to my opponent. All I do is win, <laughs> win no matter what. Money on my mind. I live in the building. Everybody hands go up. <laughs> Understand that. <laughs> I'm <laughs> <laughs>